All right, now we're going to make the suction nozzle. Chunk of PVC tube. I've taken sandpaper and roughed it all up inside real good. So that it will help the Bondo to uh, adhere. Now in addition to that, we're going to take some self-tapping screws. Put them in about here, here. These will also give the Bondo something else to grab a hold of. Four of them ought to take care of us. All right. Clean off the shreds of plastic. Now, got the tube ready. I'm going to take the funnel, smear them up with some Johnson's paste wax. This will make sure that the Bondo doesn't stick to it. Bondo hardener mixed in. Stir them up real good. All the gray is gone. Yeah, that ought to work. Now, we're going to put the funnel right there. That's going to be our mold. And we're going to throw some Bondo on in there. Work it on down. Try to get the air bubbles out of it. You can see the top of the funnel right there. Now, most important that you make sure that the funnel is centered. I like to think I have a pretty good eye. Yeah, we'll put it right there. Let the bondo harden up. Back in a little bit. All right, the bondo is now hardened up. Just about where we want it. Just a little bit soft still, but it's enough where you can clean it off if there's any spilled on the outside. Now, just grab a hold of the funnel, give them a little bit of a twist and a pull, and out it comes. Look at that. Couldn't ask for something if it was machined. Couldn't ask for anything better if it was machined. Smooth as can be, completely embedded into it, the screws. Now if we want to make the hole any larger, it's easy enough to do with a Dremel or a drill bit. So we'll put this aside and let them get uh, completely hard until it's all the way cooled down. And then we'll finish the assembly. Alright, now the last step to finish off the nozzle. 
Water's going to be coming in through here, out through here. Now this distance in here is relatively short. To get a good stream of water coming out, we need to make this just a little bit taller. So I'm going to take a piece of inch and a half PVC, and we're going to set it right here. And then we're going to put this on just to line it up, just to make sure everything that this doesn't get cocked off to one side or the other. Now you don't want to make this inch and a half too tall so that when the nozzle comes in like so that rocks and gravel coming up through here aren't going to chew this off. So you can see that's about where we need to be and that's where we're going to set it. So again, we're going to use some good old trusty Bondo, piece of half inch steel rod that I coated with Johnson Space Wax and Bondo here. The inside of both of our pieces of PVC tube I've roughed up real good with a Dremel so that everything will stick. good and mixed up. We're going to take this piece of half inch, stick it right in there. Now we're going to fill this thing up. We'll get this off first just so we don't goop it up. Now we're going to fill this up with our Bondo. about like so. A little bit of a wiggle will help remove any air bubbles that there might be. And also to ensure that the Bondo seats down into the nozzle which we may already made. Yeah. Just make sure everything's going to line up. This is how it'll look inside of the actual nozzle itself once we get it all fully assembled. Get this nice and centered. Leave it set till it hardens up in a few moments and we'll tear, take the steel shaft out with a little bit of luck and we'll see how it all goes. Okay, Bondo should be hardened up here. I'm going to take this off. And there's what he looks like. Now we'll grab a hold of the shaft, a pair of channel locks. There we go. Beauty. Just to make it nice, nice and neat, we trim this off a little bit while it's still not a hundred percent hardened up. This is what the <coughs> nozzle will look like before final assembly. This is where the water comes in from your pump. It's a two inch line. Now you can probably run it with down to 
a one inch line if you wanted to, but I'm setting this one up as a two inch. The water comes in, down and around, through the nozzle, where it's forced down into the tiny half inch hole, where it shoots down through here. This goes up to your sluice box. Again, with a two inch line connecting over here. This down here is where you'll be sucking up all the gravel, rocks, sand, and with a little luck, some gold. Goes up through here, the high pressure water shoots down through there, creating the vacuum, the suction, and off she goes. Alright, now I'm going to go ahead and finish the assembly. You can see all the different components that I have here on it. And you can change this around down to probably a one inch water line, but I don't think I'd go any smaller than a one inch line. And that will depend upon how long of a distance from here to your pump it is. Uh, the shorter you keep that line, the higher your pressure coming down through here, coming out through the nozzle. You got to have some high pressure water coming out of there. One other item that we're going to do here, this is where the line goes out into your sluice box, so you're going to be having all kinds of rocks and gravel coming up through here. Now this connector has a bit of a lip on the inside, so we're going to take a Dremel and we're going to try to smooth this down as much as we can in order to help avoid any possible plug-ups. And the plug-ups will happen. This isn't meant to be a commercial operation. This is just a, a too cold to go out gold mining something to do day. Thought it helped. guide some of the rocks and gravel on in there. Okay, and everything here is all primed, and ready to glue it all together. Alright, completely glued up. See down in there the half inch hole? Again, high pressure water coming in through here from your pump. And this is all heading out to your sluice box. You can make this adapter any kind, any size you want. If you need to go down to a smaller water line, go right on ahead. So I don't think I'd go any smaller than one inch though. Let the glue dry for a good 24 hours just to make sure everything is solid. Get some gold.